Pig Latin Statement Basics. Most pig operators take a relation, that is, an outer bag, as input and in turn emits a relation. The exceptions are the load operator, which only emits a relation after reading in data from some source, and the store operator takes a relation as input but writes the data in the relation to a file, and the dump operator, which like the store operator takes a relation as input but writes the data values to the console. All pig statements, both in a script and when running in the grunt shell, are terminated by a semicolon. In a script, it's possible to include comments. All statements between a slash asterisk and an asterisk slash are commented. Double dashes, dash, dash, will comment the rest of the line. Input. The load operator is used to read data from a source and place that data into a relation. Since there are a variety of ways that data can be stored, there are going to be a variety of functions that can be used with this operator. PIG supplies four such load functions, and you can supply your own as well. The default load function is PIG storage. This reads data that is in a delimited format with the default delimiter being the tab character. If some other delimiting character is to be used, then that character is supplied in single quotes. The text loader reads in a line of text, and this line of text is then placed into a single tuple. The bin storage function is used to read data in a machine-readable format this is used by PIG internally to store temporary data. There is also a JSON loader. This loads data that is in a standard JSON format. Let's look at an example. A equals load single quote slash data direct DIR slash data file, end quote, using pig storage, and in parentheses we have in quotes, slash t. This will read data from a file called data file located in the slash data dir directory. Since the pig storage function is being used, the data is expected to be in a delimited format, with the tab character as being the delimiter. The results are then placed into a relation called A. Load operator continued. As I said, you can code your own load function if your data is in some proprietary format not supported by the supplied load functions. There is a load function option that we should discuss. This option provides a schema for your input data. To specify a schema, you code the word as, and then in parentheses, your schema information after the load function. So continuing with a similar example, we have A equals load in quotes slash data dir slash data file using pig storage in quotes we have a comma as parentheses F1 colon int comma F2 colon char array comma F3 colon 
float, end parentheses, semicolon. Would read a comma delimited file and interpret the first field as an integer, the sec and associate with it a name of F1. The second field would be a char array and the third a float. If you do not specify a schema for the pig storage function, then the fields are not named and all fields default to byte array for their data type. The JSON loader function requires a schema. Please continue with the next portion of this lesson.